looking sharp. Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertiser. Is it hot in here? Or is it just my glands acting up again? Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. What can I do for you, Captain? Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life or death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the groundbreaking. My grandmother, Chief Gein, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from Chief Engineer to Captain. They must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. It was different knowing that I couldn't turn to anyone who could answer the tough questions for me. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennysons know about. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducts and panels, we could work something out. You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. The next captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. You've got my attention. You're right, I don't. 
The board is after two things, bits and power, and they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. You've got my attention. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Tossball finals are scheduled to air soon, but a scandal has rocked the league in Where the hell have you been, Private? Days. You've missed three shifts without notice. I was fixing that toilet you sent me to repair. The one above the Lost Hope? That was days ago. The fucking door! It locked behind me. And it wasn't until this freighter captain found me that I... You're lucky the chief would have my ass if I spaced you. Now get back to work, Private. You should clear out. Engineering's a dangerous place to wander until we get those radiators fixed. Suppose it's time to reevaluate my career goals. They got stuff in here I ain't seen in ages. You been following that series? The Hunt for the Wimbra? The pirate ship? I don't go in for docu-serials. The bounty hunter who's been after them? Fuller? She had an ambush set up on Hephaestus. The pirates came in to dump a bunch of loot on some broker they work with. Whose loyalty did Fuller buy to spring the ambush? Very adventure serial. To catch the pirates? No. They blew the fucking dock up, punched a hole in the ceiling, and got blasted out into space. One of the camera crews got smashed by debris. Fuller damn near lost a leg. Good law. You couldn't pay me enough to take bounty hunting work. Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. You the one flying the unreliable? Money. 
We got it. The Steve doors are on it. I'll take that as a yes. Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Sure am. A few years back, I got me started on simple acquisitions. You know those latches they put on cargo bays and board the dam? These days, I stick to HAUMU after Miss Lily. Light for life. The corporations never lifted a finger for me. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Save me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hake, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about the sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. It's nice, it's nice to see the unreliable again. again. We used to ship it. Off on one of my contractor. contractor. I recognize, recognize that lately boat of his anywhere. anywhere. It's a good idea to have them. I don't know how many times, times I've tried to call Holland to restore that, that smart house to back back to the I have a salvage job from someone who liked the corporate ties with over a large set of wings. But there's, there's a catch. catch. Just like your serials. If you, if you have them now, now, you just sell them and the job's yours. yours. Interested? Interested? First, First an embargo that's been active, been active ever since the board pulled forces, forces on the world. world. Few regulations, plenty of freedom. freedom. Second, Second, all, all the goodies, goodies that no one, one had time to pack. I like, I like that initiative, initiative but please back, back on the throttle. I'd like to let the rest of you know that we need. need. But if there's, there's anything else, else be quick about, about it. it. Time, time is bits. These, These days, the scrap business already runs itself. It gives me the time, time to expand, expand our interests into other, other sectors where I can let my, my hair down. Our, our field is persuasive acquisitions. At least that's, that's how my legal advisors tell me to phrase it. it. Not all of our salvage is abandoned when we find it. Sometimes, Sometimes it takes a light light conversation, conversation and a shot across that bow. You, you know, legal, legal formalities. formalities. Thank you. I, I work hard to keep it that way. Hey, hey, careful, careful with the C word around here. I like to keep things above board, and that kind of talk only makes trouble. Sublights occupies a legal blind spot. No, no one knows what we're licensed to do, and that gives our little business some freedom. But let's not tempt fate. It very. I have this thing about numbers in spreadsheets. Grids in general. I like to think of myself as the last honest businesswoman in Halcyon. But I'll settle for being the most organized one. Ask. I have nothing to hide. Be seeing you. Make sure you aren't followed on your way out. What was that? What do you think you're doing?
This stays between you and me. I'm just gonna hang in the back and try not to touch anything. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? I impounded Alex's ship, not yours. Well, I guess it's yours now if you're captaining it. It's a... a game we play, he and I. I ask him to turn in Phineas Wells, he tells me he will soon. I impound his ship, he explains why he can't give me the info right now. I ask him to turn in Wells. Around and around we go. Right, right. You are going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? You haven't read the posters. He's a terrorist, a thief, a madman. It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further harm. That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Law, oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's... well, it's my white whale, I suppose. It's fine. Really, it's perfectly fine. I understand. Now, if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. I'd like to drown myself in work. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. That's not unreasonable. I 
guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? You might be surprised, but we'll proceed on the assumption she'll be reasonable. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? Be my guest. I'm the certified representative of the board's interests here on the Groundbreaker. I'm their eyes, ears, and busy little hands. I have few complaints. Oh, good law! Who'd want to go to that toxic hell pit? Oh, law, but it's miserable. My underarms are damp. How can I be expected to work in these conditions? Chief Tennyson is supposedly looking into the cause, but I've seen no action from her. Deplorable conduct. My superiors will be hearing about it. You can be certain of that. She's doing everything she can. It's your people's fault it's not fixed, not June Lay's. <laughs> My, aren't you... Hmm... Excitable. <laughs> oh, sweetie. I don't owe a grease-stained wrench jockey like her the time of day. Let alone my deference. I'm sorry my temper got away from me. Please accept my sincerest apologies to you and your friend. Oh, I'm not used to folks saying sorry. Um, it's... it's not all right exactly, but I appreciate the apology, I guess? Well, now that that's dealt with, was there anything else you wanted to discuss? Oh, you've noticed my friends. Wonderful. Aren't their guns very large? Tremendously impressive. They're here to keep the peace, of course. Precisely. Groundbreaker makes much ado about its independent status and so resents any board presence, no matter how benign. When the alternative is board guards at their gates, yes. I do. They don't see it that way, of course, but I can't say I much care. A luxury stateroom, reserved for Chairman Rockwell's use. Oh, good law, of course not. He'd never set foot on this decrepit junk pile. As this office is the primary embassy for the board on Groundbreaker, corporate bylaws specifically state a room must be maintained for the chairman's exclusive use. Ask away. Have you seen this man? For more offers for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy.
This place is falling apart. Can't spell groundbreaker without the broken Stop, wait. gonna be pleased as pie when we show her these. You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manticular infestation. More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. If every repair was a one-woman job, I wouldn't need an engineering team. As it is, my staff is busy keeping the station from melting down. You can flip a switch for me, but you can't install these parts. Not quickly, at least. Not on the first try. Able, though, you've proven to be. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. Her. 
hurts. Don't mess with us. tells me the security mechanicals booted up and killed a bunch of mantis. Bad news. Diagnostic says their circuit boards are fused. So they're not too picky about who they killed in. Processing. Incoming! Sweeping the area. We're not getting through! Unexpected. Beginning security. Incoming! Another group of rumpers of an away deduction. Oh, get 